Okay, we're gonna look at lighting design. Uh, lighting design today. Everybody excited to learn lighting design? <laughs> yes. All right. Okay. Um, before we get into this, I just want to refresh quickly on what we went through um, the week before. Um, we're starting. We're starting to look at these things uh, in, in this approach where. We want to ask appropriate questions and find facts uh, regarding a particular subject, and then uh, use uh, use those facts to come up with the design decisions, and then finally validate some of the key design decisions using analysis tools. So this is kind of our approach that we talked about for our building envelope last week. So we're going to do this for lighting today, and then uh, next week we're going to talk about HVAC and then renewables after that. Uh, before I get into this, I just want to give a um, couple of uh, items that I wanted to mention. One, uh, I don't know how many of you recall from um, the first week when we talked about the uh, 2030 goals. And I mentioned uh, for renewable energy, there is a 20% cap. You guys remember that? Yeah. Um, I take that back. Um, the cap is actually for purchasing renewable energy, not to install renewable energy on site. So, so what that means is, if you, let's say your uh, design target is, if a, for an average school in Phoenix is 70 kilobtus per square feet, then our target for today is 60% reduction, which is somewhere in the 24, 25 kilobtus per square feet. If, um, for the rest of the 40%, you can go ahead and put uh, solar panels and achieve 2030 challenge. Uh, but you're not allowed to purchase energy. Can anyone say why? Why do you not want to purchase energy? Purchase green energy, but they encourage you to put on the site solar panels. Because you lose the, uh, the amount of energy throughout the from the transition from the solar to the power lines to the... Yep, because uh, we looked at how electrical energy is provided to us at the site, it's three times less efficient than how, how much it's generated. So it's, even though it's a good cost, we purchase green energy and they produce energy through uh, green technologies, it's still, when it comes to us, it's not uh, quite clean because we waste a lot of energy in transmission. So we purchase it from, we need to start with it. No, we do purchase green energy, that is clean. So right. they will generate through wind or solar or however it is. Yeah. But again, it's the transmission yeah. loss. Yeah. Yeah, because there's no transfer with that. Yep. Um, so, uh, I just wanted to mention that because I did mention the last time that our projects that we do, the solar projects that we do, where we go in after the fact when the building is designed, and replace that entire electricity by uh, solar panels, that is still considered our, our 20, meeting 2030 challenge. I mentioned it's not, but it is. So, so it's really just about the efficiency of the transmission, that they don't want you to do that? Yeah, because uh, for, for providing one unit of light, I have to generate three. So it's a total waste. Mm -hmm. But if you're, if you're uh, so generating it right here, better than Generated and using coal fire, coal. Power. Right. I mean, does that mean that? I mean, okay, that's not what we can. But you know, does that mean that the 2030 challenge is getting away from the transmission of power? Or ideally, you would do all of your very good question. Power transition. Or? That's a very good question. I I don't think they are. Uh, the problem is right now there is no way of. We as architectural designers, we don't have a control of that three to one loss directly. We have a direct control on how much the consumption here is. So that's why 2030 Challenge is focused more on our need first. And, and there are not enough metrics to deal with that yet. Yeah. Yeah. I think there are technologies in, in transmission that are uh, coming up uh, in trying to reduce that. 
Um, but still, the making of energy is also another loss, uh, especially with coal. For the same, uh, for the amount of, uh, for the unit of uh, uh, energy that goes into the plant, we looked at how how much energy comes out of the plant. There is a 33 percent loss right there because of the generation process. Right. <laughs> wondering why that can't be part of the challenge. To well, there's a whole, there's there's a whole, there's there's a whole industry there's working with super yeah. right. materials. They are. Oh, yes. that's what that one. Yeah, and 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 there are, there are numerous technologies that are still not tested yet for, for like the fission energy, nuclear fission. They're, it's still theoretical, but it, it has a lot of potential. So there's so many things in development, and I think they are all working towards reducing that. But at the same time, it, it's a very good controversy because at the same time, Europe is moving more towards district energies, uh, where let's say you develop a whole housing community, that housing community has their own source of energy, and they have their first grid among themselves before they go to the main grid. So that way, uh, say for instance, uh, and this is also becoming popular in India right now be because you can't rely on the grid. What they do is they have solar panels on every house. So if I'm consuming less than what I'm generating, then I could sell that solar power to my first community grid before it goes to the uh, main grid. So my community gets the benefit of sharing uh, the resources first. It's a much lesser scale, yeah. yeah. So, I think in the future there will be a combination of improved uh, transmission and uh, independent micro plants. And with fuel cell technologies, where they're going is um, this company, uh, Bloom Energy, uh, we've talked about that before. What their vision is to provide a little box like this a fuel cell generator for your own house. So you don't necessarily have to go to the grid at all. That will generate the entire power for you. So it could be anything in the future as far as energy. Okay, let's focus on daylighting, on lighting today. <laughs>